Hi, I'm Joe Levaya with ATG USA, and today we are going to go through copy monitoring in Revit 2021. Okay, so today what you're seeing, I'm showing my technology model that I have here that I pre-created um, during some previous time. And uh, what you're, you're noticing is over on this, my project browser area, I have some uh, project setup views. Okay, for floor plans, sailing plans, and of course, elevations. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, start by going into an east project setup elevation. And um, what you're going to see here is um, at a previous time, I inserted an architectural model into uh, my current model for uh, what is going to be MEP. So the first thing I want to do is um, we want to uh, start the process by coming in here and um, we're going to copy monitor our levels and we're also going to copy monitor our grids. So um, as a heads up, this is a two-step process and I'm going to go through both steps uh, for you and um, if you as you see and as we go along with this process uh, you'll notice uh, certain things that will happen within this two-step process um, so first let's start out by going to our collaborate tab here on the ribbon once we get to our collaborate tab on the ribbon we're going to notice that we have several options on our ribbon here and uh, one of them is copy monitor so when we pull down uh, the copy monitor options here, we're going to see we can utilize current project or we can select link. Um, in this case, being that we're working with uh, for MEP and we're working with an, a third party architect firm, um, we're going to select link as we've linked that architect project into our current model. For those of you who um, also do MEP as well, uh, just keep in mind, you can go through this process as well with structure, uh, any one of those structure models. And then also, if you end up receiving civil models in Revit as well, you can go through that process also um, to select certain items if you're doing site plans and such. So the first thing we're going to do is, um, since we've selected that select link, we're going to hover over our link that we linked into Revit. So as you can see, I know I'm hovering over the architect model based upon this blue box that is on the outside or exterior of this, this model. I'm going to select that link. And then my first step here is going to be to copy. So I'm going to select copy from my ribbon. I'm going to select multiple as I'm selecting multiple items. So once I come in here and select multiple, I'm going to come down and I'm going to go and look at our options that we have for levels. And keep in mind the reason we're copy monitoring levels is so that way we can create our views for these levels um, to work on our, this project. So in order to select multiple at once, remember in Revit, um, we'll utilize the control key. We'll hold the control key down and then we will select our specific elements that we're looking to copy. So I selected all four of my levels. Uh, I am leaving my parapet, so we're not going to bother messing with the parapet. And then now I want to select my um, my letter grids that you see above and we can see we have A through J with an F1 float here in the middle. What I'm going to do as well, um, I'm going to hold down my control key also and just run my uh, mouse cursor across and select all my grids. Now, when we talk about this being a two-step process, the first thing that you're going to notice is I have everything selected here. Now I need to close out my copy function um, on my ribbon. And just like when we selected multiple, the copy function will sit 
beneath our ribbon and we're going to select finish once we've selected all our items. Okay, and this is the first step of this process. Since we've selected our finish, now we, we can see that we're still in Copy Monitor because we have, one, our mod Modify tab pulled up. And then two, we can see that the um, turquoise color or blue or green or however it comes up for you guys uh, is still selected based upon what we're seeing beneath the ribbon here. So the last tab in our ribbon is going to be our copy monitor tab. I'm going to select that. And you're going to see that I still have some of my options out here for copy monitor. And what I want to do at this point is finish our command. And the finish option here is this check mark. So we will select this check mark and that will finish out our command. Okay, once we've now copy monitored our levels and some of our grid, we now need to, to copy monitor our number portion of our grids. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to a north elevation. All right, so now you can see I'm in the north elevation. And what we're going to do at this point is we're going to select the copy monitor option again here in the ribbon through our collaborate tab. I'm going to select link because again, this is a Revit link from an architect firm who's third party. And we're going to see that we have that blue box around our link. Once we do that, once we select it, I'm going to select the copy command. I'm going to select multiple and I'm going to come in, hold down my control key and I'm going to select all of my number grids within this project. Okay, and I just run my cursor across. I close out the first portion of this command by selecting finish to close out the copy command. And then I can see that I'm still in the copy monitor functionality at this point. And just a heads up in order to understand that if we've copy monitored something or not, there is a symbol and that that will show up next to each element that you copy monitor. Okay, and this would have also been the same symbol that would have showed up for all of our levels as well. Now we're going to go to copy monitor on the ribbon and we're going to just finish our command. So select this big green check mark and that will finish our command. Now what we've got the option to do is when we come into floor plans here, we can now see that I have full ability to move and adjust my grids, whether I want to move them around, up, down, however I need to adjust them out. Um, and then on top of that, when we come into When we go to our view command and we come into our plan views, we can now select a floor plan and we can see all our levels that we pulled up and that we copy monitored um, are now available for us to create our plans. So we can select all, all these options here and we can now see that as we go in to this process now we have additional options for additional plans and you can do this for, with uh, your RCPs your floor plans and then work right right off of those plans specifically so thank you for attending and um, I hope to hear from you soon